Nothing in the world will stop this club from sucking all its managers. Nothing in the world will stop this club from sucking all its managers. Nothing in the world, nothing in the world. Nothing. Nothing. Merry go round continues. Frank Lampard is in as interim manager to the end of the season. After that, we don't know what's happening. Chelsea have sacked another manager. It's getting boring. Look, you can't complain as a Chelsea fan. All it is is wins, trophies, money. You can't complain. I've been a Chelsea fan for 20 years. I've only had the good time. But it is getting a little bit tiring. This manager merry go round. I'm sick of it. So today I thought I'd mark the occasion with a Chelsea manager tier list and go through all the Chelsea managers in the past 20 years. Off the bat, we've got Graham Potter. Do you know what? I really wanted it to work for Potter, but it was just a bit dusty. So I'm going to stick him in E. I think if he had more time, something might have budged. But when you're at the top of the game in the top six clubs, you have to perform off the bat and he, he just didn't. So... He's in it. Frank Lampard stint one. Here we go again. 57 games in charge. 49% win rate, to be fair. 1.67 points per game. Good vibes as a manager. All out attacking football. Got us top four. Got us to an FA Cup final. Lost it. Pretty savage. Let's hope he does better this time. But all in all, I'm going to put him in C. He was good vibes, obviously. Ex-player. You love to see it. Andre Villas Boas. He was stinky. I'm not going to lie. 27 games in charge. 48% win rate. 1.7 points per game, which isn't actually a bad record, but not up to Chelsea standards. I think he went out, got replaced by Di Matteo, who then won the Champions League. So he laid the foundations, but it just wasn't working for him. Stinky manager, though. He's going in E as well, I think. Not the worst, but in E. Claudio Ranieri was early days for me. I can't really remember much of it. Um, he's got 146 games in charge, 52% win rate, and a 1.82 points per game. Lovely bloke. He's going in C. Di Matteo, 23 games in charge, 52% win rate, 1.82. 8-3, but won Chelsea their first Champions League title, and his vibes were immaculate. He, for me, is going in B. Great manager, wasn't there long enough, and obviously was interim, so yeah, he's going in B. Maurizio Sarri, a bit like Marmite. Some people liked him, some people didn't. Didn't particularly tickle my balls as a Chelsea fan. The style he brought in, I felt like it didn't really suit the club. This is why I fear Luis Enrique. I'm not sure how his style will suit the club. 38 games in charge, 55% win rate, 1.89 points per game. Not bad bad not bad but was he one of the better managers probably not he instilled a type of game got got us a european title to be fair really nice guy to be fair he's going in c gus hitting 34 games in charge 53 percent win rate and 1.94 points per game not a bad record to be fair lovely bloke as well i think he was interim for a couple of times as well he'll go in d thomas tuchel the lord and savior my favorite manager who's ever managed chelsea i'm gonna say it He's going in S tier. Doesn't matter about the stats. Lovely bloke. Won us our second Champions League. Made us a team that everyone feared playing. Every big club we came against, I'd expect we could win. In the Champions League as well. What more can you want from a manager? He's going in S tier. 63 games in charge. 56% win rate. 1.94 points per game. He's S tier. He's the best manager I think we've ever had. Moving on. Felipe Scolari. This was an interesting one. I, I really didn't like the bloke. Really odd manager. 25 games in charge. 56% win rate and a 1.96 points per game record. Like he just stunk. He stunk the club out. He's F tier for me. Bottom of the list. Rafa Benitez. Legendary coach, to be fair. Really enjoyed. I mean, obviously, he'd done his bits at Liverpool. Coming to Chelsea, it was a bit of a weird, weird position he put himself in. But then he did it again and went to Everton. So it was even weirder. Um, but the time he was there, he was trying to get the best out of Torres. Weird time at the club. But I really liked Torres. 26 games in charge. 58% win record. And a 1.96 points per game. I really like Benitez. He won the the Europa League with us, I think. Yeah, he won the Europa League with us. And so for that reason, he's going in B tier for me. Carlo Ancelotti, Don Carlo, elite manager. It's a shame with what he had that season, he didn't do bits in the Champions League. The last few seasons were semi-finalists in the Champions League a couple of times. 2010, nothing springs to mind. Uh, but obviously we got the double uh, and it was a legendary season. Absolutely dominated English football. 76 games in charge, 63% win ratio and 2.07 points per game. For me, he's A tier. He's just an elite manager. Antonio Conte, another Italiano Giza. 76 games in charge, 67% win record and a 2.14 points per game. Obviously five games in, everyone's thinking, what? the f he ended up changing up the formation changing english football for a while to be fair english football hadn't 
really had a three at the back team dominate. Well, I think they are the only three at the back team who have won the Premier League. Tell me if I'm wrong. Won the Premier League. He's going in B. He's a great manager. Jose Mourinho, one of my favorite managers. He obviously has his problems. The first time he got sat because he came second in the league or something like perfectionist much but to be fair second time at the club there were it was problematic there was arguments with the the medical staff or something something to do with Eva uh, I can't really remember now it was eight years ago <laughs> but um elite manager first time around changed English football a tier I would put him s tier but you can only have one s tier so 80 for him 211 games in charge 66 percent win rate and 2.19 points per game over 211 games Incroyable. And the last one, an interesting one. People, some people may forget. Avram Grant, 33 games in charge, 67% win rate, and a 2.24 points per game record. Incredible. I mean, uh, let's be real. Around that time, that team was making semi-finals in the Champions League and winning the title around it. So he had an elite team. And for that reason, he'll go in a very unforgettable C tier because Bleh. I really wanted it to work for Potter, but it just like you don't get enough time at the top and I don't see why Lampard coming in is going to make a difference. They keep saying galvanize, galvanize is not going to make a difference. Of course, it is probably because there's a plan in place to get through to the summer and I get that, but where do we stand? Who are we trying to get? I don't really, I don't think Luis Enrique really fits. I'm not going to lie. Is he proven? He won with Barcelona with the ultra MSN squad and then went to Spain and didn't do anything. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, look, I'm no manager. All of these people are amazing, but I'm saying comparing to each other, I feel like Nagelsmann would probably be a better option. And maybe that's what they're doing. I've heard, obviously, he got sacked from Bayern. I think his missus broke up with him. He probably needs a little bit of time just to take a chill. Maybe the idea is that we wait to the summer and let him go from there because who wants to pick up this shit other than Lampard to the end of the season? Give it Giggsy to the end of the season. There we go, there's my tier list. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Damn, this was a long video. Peace.